How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to sit down and do something a little bit more casual for you guys because there were just a couple of topics on my mind that I didn't really feel were all that well suited for a formal discussion video. By the way, this video is pretty much going to have two main parts. In the first part, I want to update you guys on some current series on my channel, as well as talk about some plans I have for future series. And then the second part, I want to do something completely different and ask the question, what exactly constitutes canon lore in the Elder Scrolls? Because this is a very controversial topic that was recently brought up in one of my videos, so I sort of wanted to sit down and share my thoughts on it. Anyways, let's start off here with those announcements. First and foremost, from here on out until the end of summer, my top 5 locations for the Elder Scrolls 6 series is going to be the priority on this channel, period. I've got 3 more videos planned for that series in one honorable mention, which I do think you guys will find very interesting, as well as of course the last 2 episodes of the countdown. I've been getting a lot of really good feedback from you guys, and I've got some pretty good ideas of my own, and I would like for the rest of the summer to just blow this series out of the water and do even better than I was before, so I'm really excited for this, and I hope you guys are pretty excited as well. But at the same time, I've also been thinking a little bit, what do I want to do after this series ends? Because my location series is eventually going to have to come to an end, and it is pretty much the biggest series that I'm doing on my channel right now with regards to the Elder Scrolls, so I'm going to need something to fill the void. Well, I thought about it, and I've actually got something good to replace that series, and the new series that I'm going to be doing once my top 5 location series is over is called Elder Scrolls 6 and Beyond. My vision for this series going forward is in each video to select a specific topic in Elder Scrolls lore, and for the first half of the video delve really deep into the facts and the lore, but for the second half speculate on the topic with regards to the Elder Scrolls 6 as well as other future Elder Scrolls games. For example, if I did an Elder Scrolls and Beyond video for the idea of an Akaviri invasion, I'd spend the first half talking about previous Akaviri invasions of Tamriel and the Tamriel invasion of Akavir, and the second half speculating about possible future Akaviri invasions and how they could be plot points for future Elder Scrolls games. I feel like this series is actually a lot like my top 5 location series in that it's sort of the intersection of lore and speculation about the Elder Scrolls 6. These are personally my two favorite topics to talk about, so I feel like it fits the channel really well. If you guys like that idea, let me know down below, and if there's any other feedback you'd like to give me on the idea, also let me know. This series is going to be starting in earnest pretty much right after I finish my top 5 location series, so at around the end of summer and the beginning of fall. The next thing I want to discuss is I recently released a video called 5 Facts About the Elder Scrolls That'll Blow Your Mind, and you guys seem to really enjoy that video, so my question is, would you guys like to see more Elder Scrolls Facts videos in the future? Because I had a lot of fun editing and making that video, and you guys seem to enjoy it too, so I'd like to think that this would be a good idea going forward. One specific idea I have is I could do a top 10 facts video for every single game in the Elder Scrolls series, so a top 10 facts on Arena, Daggerfall, and so on until Skyrim. And then maybe I could also address some of the spin-off games if you guys want that too. Another important thing that's come to my attention is I feel like I haven't really been interacting with you guys very well recently, and I want to change that. I want to get you guys involved in my videos, so I don't have any specific plans yet, but do expect more interactive videos and just generally more interactive content coming in the future. Okay, and then the last thing which I'm potentially the most excited about is all the parts for my new gaming PC just arrived, and I should have it built fairly soon, which means I can start bringing you guys gameplay videos of various Elder Scrolls games, and I don't want to limit myself to any single game, I don't want to focus on like Skyrim or just Oblivion or just Morrowind or anything like that, I want to bring you guys gameplay from all the Elder Scrolls games, I want to bring you guys a lot of variety, and there's actually a specific idea I have planned for a future series, which is pretty ambitious and would take a really long time, uh, but I'll bring you guys more information on that one once I flesh the idea out a little more. I've also thought about potentially doing mod reviews on this channel, and they wouldn't be too regular, like I'm thinking maybe once every two weeks or once a month because I am juggling a lot right now, but let me know if you guys would like to see that as well. Alright, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say with regards to updates on my channel, so now let's get into the lore discussion. What exactly constitutes canon lore? Specifically, I want to address Kirkbride lore versus canon lore in this video. So to set the scene for you guys and give you all some context, there's this guy named Michael Kirkbride, who's a former designer at Bethesda Game Studios that wrote a lot of lore for the first three Elder Scrolls games, and left after Morrowind came out, but he did write a couple of books in Oblivion. But here's the strange part, Kirkbride is still very much active in the Elder Scrolls community, and posts all types of stuff about Elder Scrolls lore, which has gained him a lot of respect and a pretty big following. But technically speaking, anything that he's written since leaving Bethesda, with the exception of course of those Oblivion books, is non-canon. 
So despite being someone who knows a lot about Elder Scrolls lore, a lot of people think that we shouldn't consider anything he says to be lore. Those of you who've not heard of Michael Kirkbread probably think this isn't really a big deal, because after all, what can one person really do? But this is actually a massive issue in the Elder Scrolls community, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding it, because Kirkbread has written so much lore for the Elder Scrolls franchise that it's difficult at times to ignore what he says. My perspective on the whole issue is pretty much right in the middle. Anything original that he's written after leaving Bethesda, to me, is definitely not canon. But I think that we ought to at least consider his opinion sometimes, and completely disregarding his perspective is not the best idea. Because of my viewpoint, I made a really minor reference to him in one of my recent lore videos, which a couple of people really didn't like, and I do think that's completely understandable. So the conclusion that I've come to is hopefully going to be a good middle ground. For the most part, I'm going to try and avoid referencing Kirkbride in my lore videos and only make minor mentions to him in my theory videos. For those of you who want to talk about Kirkbride lore more in depth, I'm more than happy to have lengthy discussions in the comments. This is pretty much the vibe I got from my last video, and I do want to try and cater to you guys as much as possible. So if this is the right direction you think, then let me know, but if it's the wrong direction, then also let me know. But anyways, back to the topic at hand here, there's something I want to challenge about the whole Kirkbride situation. Consider this for a second. Kirkbride wrote by himself the entirety of the 36 Lessons of Vivek, which in case you don't know is a collection of lore books in Morrowind, and yes, they are official lore, because they're in the freaking game. Many times Kirkbride has come out and explained things about the 36 Lessons and other books that he's authored, which are numerous, and yet a lot of people think that we shouldn't consider any of this. So here's my question. I understand people disregarding original material that Kirkbride has written after he left Bethesda. But if the original author of a lore book explains something in that lore book that he wrote, should we completely disregard that? I'm not necessarily saying that you have to consider everything he says about the 36 lessons in other books in the series as canon material, only that we should really pay attention to what he says about the things that he, as the original author, wrote. So basically, this is where I draw the line. Anything that Kirkbride says clarifying a book that he has already written for an actual Elder Scrolls game should at least be taken under consideration when talking about canon lore. Anything outside of that is not confirmed to be canon lore, even if a lot of it is interesting. The point of this discussion is just to say that we should at least consider some of the stuff that Kirkbride has said, depending on the context that it's said in. Also, another thing that's not entirely related to Kirkbride is on that last video, I got a lot of comments claiming that the 36 lessons of Vivek aren't official lore and that Kim isn't an actual thing. With all due respect, I gotta completely disagree on that. Regardless of what you think about Kirkbride or any of that situation in general, there are way too many references to Kim for it not to be a part of the Elder Scrolls universe, and while the lessons of Vivek are rather difficult to understand and certainly not the most reliable source at times, you can't deny that they were in Morrowind, so they are official lore. And they do at least tell us some things that are important about the series. Whether Bethesda actually does something with the lessons of Vivek or Kim in the future is definitely up for debate, but that doesn't mean that they're blatantly not canon or anything like that. Anyway, sorry for going on a bit of a rant there, but that's pretty much going to do it for me. I would love to hear your opinions on this entire issue, and I might do another video addressing this entire thing more in depth, and I'm also happy to listen to all of your thoughts, and my opinion is up for change. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Elder Scrolls videos in the future. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video.